Hey guys, how are you? It's May 19th, 2008. There's a slight complication with my Mac Pro. Um, my very good friend Alfred, you know him on youtube.com slash adablasi. He has very good videos, uh, videos check him out. Um, Alfred pointed out to me that I installed my RAM not incorrectly, but it's not optimized the way it should be. And then I later found out that other viewers of mine have also told me about this. Now, the main problem is I installed my new RAM cards on the top riser card as opposed to the bottom. Now, apparently it's better to install um, pairs on each riser card on, on their own and then go back up to the first riser card on my next RAM upgrade. So, for instance, right now it should be dual 512s on the top and then my dual 1 gigs on the bottom, still adding up to 3 gigabytes. And basically this just optimizes my RAM performance better and it makes my Mac Pro run the way it should be. So this is a quick update video just to show you the install process. Um, it isn't anything special, but it's more computer footage and to me that's always a good thing, so enjoy. Okay, so here we have the almighty Mac Pro again. Um, as I said, I installed the RAM on the wrong card. Not the wrong card technically, but it's just not optimized like I said. So let's take this out. Everything's unplugged obviously. There's the RAM card that I did before. Put this up here. And then I'll take the other one out, which is my first time doing this. So there you go. Whoa, a lot of dust came out. I had to dust this thing too. And yeah, I can actually see back there now. Very cool. Alright, let's pop them in. And this cat's not a part of it. I'm sorry. This is Smokey. Alright, Smokey. Yeah. Here we have the two riser cards. The left one is the one I filled up and the right one is the one I've yet to put RAM in but that's gonna change in a minute or so so let's take out the two 1 gigs and as my friend offer noted the RAM sticks go in the front of the new one well technically the back or the front I don't know I guess you could call it the front because the pins are up here this name is last time very easy Apply force. Done. These out. For people watching this for the first time rather than the first part of this video series, um, I said last time and it still stands, installing memory is probably the easiest upgrade you can do hardware wise inside of a computer. So there you go, that easy. And so, for my next RAM upgrade, it would be on this card. And then, vice versa, on this card to finish it up. But I see myself eventually replacing these 512s with two 1 gigs, or even two 2 gigs. But we'll see, and that'll be another video. Maybe in the summertime, maybe around Christmas, who knows? But yeah, let's pop them back in. Let's put the one with the 512s in first, since that's how it was in the beginning. Again, very simple procedure. You just push until it snaps into place. Then we take a second riser card with the, let me just make sure, yep, one gigs each. And by the way, I've almost used up three gigs of RAM as it is between Photoshop and Dreamweaver. So I'm definitely going to be upgrading to probably at least five gigs before the end of summer. So that'll be another video to look forward to. Something I haven't done yet on camera is show you guys what the side panel looks like. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure the majority of computer users slash geeks out there know what it looks like already, but here's the side door. As you can see, it's very simple. It's totally made out of aluminum, so it's heavy, very solid. Very cool sounding, too, I guess. <laughs> um, then there's a big Apple logo right there. Very simple Apple design, very traditional, which I love. And then on the flip side, flip this around, it's upside down. Um, hopefully you can see in the frame because I'm not looking at my camera right now, but there's RAM upgrades. I mean RAM upgrade instructions right here. A very easy, um, graphical, I mean graphic tutorial, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, I didn't see this until after I installed the RAM, but no big deal. Like I said, the error I made was very minor. And it technically wasn't an error, it just wasn't optimized. So this is how it goes on. You slide this into the slot. If 
I get into the slot. This thing never wants to slide in the first time. There we go. Very simple. Then spin it around. Let's see if that's in the frame real quick. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Let me lift it up for you guys. Then you do this. Done. And it's locked in place. And the door is locked. Very cool. Very simple. And there you have it. Another easy RAM upgrade on my Mac Pro. Technically it's the same RAM upgrade, but this time I did it totally right. It's totally optimized for performance, which is always a good thing. This time I'm not going to show the boot up process because there's really no point in showing it since you saw it last time and we all know what the Apple logo looks like by now. So, that's it. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions just feel free to post them in the comment section or email me at daviddefranco at gmail.com. Also, check out my website at thecreativeone.tv. A link will show up right here, like right about now. Thank you, Apple. And yeah, um, and again, a big thank you to those who gave me the heads up regarding the uh, riser card placement and RAM and all that stuff. Um, especially to you, Offer. Thanks. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.